Hello guys, Soft Tony here and welcome to my new After Effects tutorial. In this video, I will show you step-by-step -step process to design this smooth and seamless transition here in After Effects. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss any of my future content. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. Alright, we're here in After Effects and first, like always, let's create a new composition, hit Ctrl plus N or this little icon here, let's rename this to Final, of course you can type your own text, this is gonna be 9020 by 1080 60 frames per second, and duration 5 seconds long, hit OK, and now let's drag and drop our media, of course you will import your own, and now let's create solid layer, go right click, find here new solid layer, I will rename this to Matt, also 9020 by 1080 and then hit OK. Now go to 1 seconds and 1 second and 30 frames, hit S for scaling, uncheck this option constraint proportion and set up our first keyframe for scale, then go to 0 frames and type here 0 for the X parameter. Now grab our both keyframes, hit F9, then go to graph editor and draw a curve like this. Ok, and if you can't see curve like this, just go right click and click here on edit speed graph. Now when we hit 0 in our finals, we have this type of movement of our solid layer. Now let's find track mat for our media 01, find here alpha mat, and if you can find track mats, just hit here toggle switches and modes. Now it's time to pre-compose our media and our mat layers, grab them, then go right click, pre-compose, and let's rename this to media 01. Also hit this second option and adjust composition duration to the time span of the selected layers, hit OK. And now let's duplicate our media 01 for a few times, hit Ctrl plus D or go edit and then duplicate. Move this media 01 maybe 3 frames ahead, then duplicate once again, move this to around 6 frames ahead and duplicate once again to around 9 frames ahead. Now grab our first 3 media 01, you can also change colors here and go in the facts and preset and if you can't find the facts and preset just go window and you will find them here. Ok, now type fill effect, double click and now let's just find colors according your needs. First color is gonna be this cyan blue color for me, second one is gonna be darker blue color like this and third color is going to be white color. And now in our finals, when we hit zero, we have this cool and creative animation. Okay, in every moment you can go here in media 01, hit you on this matte layer and readjust our keyframes if you want to go a faster animation or slower animation. Okay, now let's pre-compose our media 01, hit Ctrl plus A or select them all, then go right click again, find here pre-compose, I will just rename this one to slide 01, hit OK, I will close the effects control for now, and also let's create our slide 02. Duplicate this slide 01 here in our project window, hit Ctrl plus D, move this slide 02 here in our timeline, readjust it to maybe two and a half seconds like so, and now let's go inside here in our slide 02, select this media 01, and then go here again and hit Ctrl plus D to create this media 02, rename it if you need, Hold ALT while you're dragging this media 02 on top of our media 01 composition, go here again, also hold this media 01, find here media 02 footage and just repeat the process, hold ALT while you're dragging this media 02 on top of our media 01. Also let's readjust our animation, hit S for our matte layer, go to 0 frames and then change here this X parameter, type here 100 and for the Y parameter type here zero for our first keyframe. Then grab both of our keyframes, go to graph editor and draw the same curve like before. Ok, I will close this one for now and in our finals when we hit zero we have this cool and creative animation of our transitions. Of course this way you can make your own animation, you can of course import your own text and everything else. Let's change color for our slide 02, hit on this uh, bottom media 02, hit F3, let's change to this maybe red, 
and then hit on the second composition, change color maybe to yellow or so, you can play around with the colors, for third one we will leave it to white, and when we're back here in our finals, we have these cool colors and cool transition of our medias. Alright guys, so that was everything for today's tutorial, hope you learned something new from this fast video lesson, uh, let's be creative to create more slides, to create your own slideshow, if you like this video please hit that like button, also please consider to subscribe if you haven't already, and take a look on my channel for even more great tutorials, also leave me a comment down below in the comment section, and all the links are in the description, and until next time, stay creative and bye bye!